Hello and welcome to the second part of the YouTube Matic tutorial videos. In this part, I will show you how to use the YouTube Matic plugin to post automatically to your YouTube channel. So, first of all, let's check some basic stuff. First of all, you need to have a YouTube channel. So, please, first of all, create a YouTube channel and go to its settings and check one thing with me. Go to settings, view additional features and check if you have enabled longer videos. Uh, you can upload longer videos than 50 minutes only if you verify your YouTube account. Uh, here will, you will have a button, <coughs> enable. When you click the enable button here, then uh, you will have to verify your phone number with your YouTube account. And afterwards, YouTube will enable longer videos upload for you. If you don't enable this, <clears throat> the plugin will be able to upload to your channel only shorter than only videos that are shorter than 50 minutes long. So after you enable this, the plugin will be able to upload also longer videos. So please be check on this first, and afterwards we can proceed. Don't forget you have you have to have a YouTube channel. This is the YouTube channel where I will publish my posts. If we go to Video Manager, it is empty. It is an empty channel. Okay. So, first step, click here to create a new project for the plugin to use. Okay. Now, uh, be sure to be logged in to uh, the Google API exactly with the YouTube, uh, the Google account, which you will be using for video upload. So this is it. Be sure to be logged in with this Google account. Okay, so I logged in with this. This is the account I will be using to upload videos to this YouTube channel. This should be also here. Okay, now we will go ahead and let's create a project to be used with the plugin. You give it a name. It is not used anywhere this name, so this name can be anything you wish. Create the project. Wait until the project is created. This should not take longer than a couple of seconds. And it is ready. Now, go to your dashboard. And be sure to have the project you created selected here. Now, go to library. And enter here YouTube. Click on YouTube Data API v3. Click Enable. Wait for the API to enable. And you are set now. You can go to Credentials and create the credentials to be used in the plugin. Click Create Credentials. You have to create OAuth Client ID now. In the previous tutorial, we created API key, but now we have to create OAuth client ID. Okay. A warning will be shown here that you will need to add a name to your uh, project. Click this button, and here in the application name, give it anything you wish. I give the name Code Evolution, and after I saved, you see, we'll see that the warning disappeared. Now we can select here web application. This is what you have to select, web application. Uh, you will have to give it another name. Okay. And in the authorized redirect URIs, go to plugin settings and copy this line so this is what should be used there copy this 
and paste it here in the authorized redirect queries, not in the authorized JavaScript origins. Leave this blank, paste it here. Uh, uh, a warning will be uh, will pop up: invalid redirect. Domain must be added to the authorized domain list. To uh, get rid of this, click the authorized domain list link here. And once again, the project settings opened. Now scroll down and search for authorized domain list. Here enter the exact domain which uses your WordPress uses. So this is the domain my WordPress uses. Without any links or any prefixes, only the domain and its extension. So modyourtube.com in my case, hit enter. This will pop up here and now hit save. Okay, now we can go ahead again and create an old client ID, web application, copy this from the plugin, paste it here in the authorized redirect queries, hit enter. Don't forget to hit enter here so it will be created like this and hit create. Okay, so we created our client ID, copy this client ID, paste it here, copy this secret, paste it here, hit save or out info, and we configure the plugin using o out. Now go to post to YouTube. Here you have to authorize the app and the plugin to post in your name to your YouTube channel. Hit authorize the app. If you've done everything right, this a similar screen to this will pop up. Uh, hit on the choose the account that you wish to post to. Note that you must log in using the that account where you wish to post your videos to. If you log in with other account, it will not work. So log in to the account where you wish to videos where you wish to uh, videos to go. Select also the channel. This uh, warning will be popping up now. The app isn't verified. Google hasn't verified the app yet. This is not an issue. <clears throat> click advanced and click go to uh, the website, your website. And once again, you have to click allow. And after all these steps, the plugin will be ready to function for you. So note that you came back to your website where you installed the plugin and the plugin says YouTube authorization successful and here are some additional settings for posting to YouTube of your videos. The plugin will work as is like this. You don't have to do anything. There are some advanced uh, tricks and advanced settings here. Um, in this video I won't cover this. I will cover some advanced uh, things from here in another tutorial video. Okay, now let's check automatic posting and how it works. So let's go to posts. Let's click add new. Let's give it a title. And now let's go to YouTube and let's select a video to post automatically to our channel. Let's say I want to post a short funny video. Okay, so these are the results. Let's select uh, this, this baby. This is cute. Okay. Copy the video URL, paste it in the content. So this is everything you need to do. Paste a video uh, URL in the post content that needs to be, that is published. Also note that if you post automatical YouTube videos with the other feature of the plugin that imports videos from YouTube and also configure automatic posting to YouTube, videos that are imported with the plugin are also posted to your YouTube channel. So this will work both ways. Also please note that 
not only YouTube videos can be posted to your YouTube channel, only local videos from your server, YouTube, Vimeo, Dailymotion, Facebook and Twitch videos will be uh, automatically posted if they are embedded in the content of posts that you publish on your blog. Now hit publish and let the plugin do its job by posting the uh, video to your YouTube channel. Now we can go to the channel, um, go to settings, hit view additional features, video manager and you will see the video here appeared already. It, if we go to YouTube and check our channel, your channel, the video appeared also here. If we click on it, my first YouTube video, exactly like we put in the title. Okay. So, note that this will work not only for YouTube videos, but you can post to your YouTube channel also local videos from your server, email, daily motion, Twitch, and Facebook videos. Okay, so I hope you will enjoy this feature of the plugin. Until next time, have a nice day, bye-bye.